What's up? Oh shit. Okay. Right here, right here. We got, we got oh, that's it. Oh, sorry. Turn it this to make sure it's pointing at me. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Good? Yeah, my stuff's good over there? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do the usual? Sorry, those come off. Yeah, put them next to them. I'm sorry. No, I, forgot, I forgot they were on. Usual? Yeah, usual. I Just a regular, you know, I want hair on the side, touching the ears. Not not too long, but not, not I don't want to see the skin. Off the ears, though, right? Yeah, 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 no, just a little touching, maybe. Gotcha. And tell me the beard. Everything off? Just everything off, yeah, everything. Clean shave, right? Clean shave. Gotcha. Absolutely. Let's do it. How long it's been since you last got? I came a year ago. This young lady cut my hair yeah. last year. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Where is she? You weren't here. I came on a Tuesday. You weren't here. Gotcha. Can I ask a favor? Can I move the cord on that blow dryer? It's right in the middle of the screen. You see? Thank you. Problem. Sorry about that. No now, just so you know, there's people watching and they're talking to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, well, we're doing this. Cool. Okay? Cool. And if you want to know what they're saying, you can read it on the screen. Mm -hmm. But it, you don't have to read it. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's good. The girls are 15 years old now. Yeah. I remember there were four when you cut their hair. Yeah. Everybody's good. I was just out saw them in Minnesota. One they, 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 they went. They went with their mother to Minnesota. Oh yeah. So I was just out visiting them. You know, you know, make it, you know, like regular, like, like a regular guy's haircut, you know? Maybe like that guy in the picture, baby. You want to go that show? That's yeah, like that. That's yeah. clean off the ears. That's okay? Uh, just barely off, yeah. Okay. I saw you this morning, you give a guy a shave already. Okay. Mm I know it's not hot today, but I know it's going to be hot. Yeah, tomorrow, man. It's like yeah. So it's it, it, yeah, maybe to the 80s tomorrow. Thank you. 
contestants. All we know about you now is that you all want to win, right? But guess what? You each get a little bit of cash. You get the money that is in Cat's tip jar. Not working, man. Not today. Um, I haven't worked in a while. I had back surgery. You wouldn't know because you didn't cut my hair last year. The young lady behind us did. Um, but I had back surgery uh, about a, you know almost two years ago now. Um, the back is better now. My three discs in my lower lumbar, they had to cut them uh, with the laser because they were touching the nerves and I couldn't walk. Because of that, I can no longer work. So I collect my pension. You did construction union, right? Mm hmm A union iron worker. Absolutely. I would drive in the city every day, I told you. I go down where you live and work. Sideburns just down to the bottom of the ear. Mm -hmm. right. You know, when I comb it, when I get out of the shower, I just comb it straight back, right? You know that.
So you know, somebody has to drop it off. And you know what? Tomorrow, the boss will come in, come in, ask me why I had, I was standing out there for more than ten minutes in one spot, waiting for my mail. <laughs> So this must be the 12th and 13th time I've come. I've been back in New York, I think, 13 years now. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right, man. It's all around here, man. Did I come the first year you were open? Yeah, one of my first customers, yeah. <laughs> and then I didn't come back for another year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, how come you never cut that much hair off of me? <laughs> But you want to save it for you. When you come next time, we're going to put it around the chair, man. That, that, would, that would make me feel so much better. Keep keeping up appearances. <laughs> Getting there, my man, getting there. No mustache, right? Everything off.
I think my wife wanted it shorter. That, that, I, I think she wants it a little shorter than that. Higher or closer? Closer to the skin. Yeah, shorter than hair. Yeah. Yeah, like that. I think she prefers it like that. Otherwise, you know what she does? She grabs him and tugs on him like this. Ooh, that's no good. That's <laughs> painful. Needed to be done, you know? Yeah. Needed to be done. You know, you know, it's great, it's great. Mm -hmm. Can I clean up your eyebrows or no? Uh, my eyebrows? Yeah, a couple long ones. You want me to even them up? Um, if you feel inclined, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eyebrows? Mm -hmm. A couple long ones. Not anymore, man. Not anymore. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This guy's name is Vlad. Yeah, this is how we do it at Nyack Barbershop. <laughs> it's okay, man. They can hear you. Go ahead. It's good. It's perfect. Are you kidding me? You can talk to them if you want. They can hear you. Yeah, we guys located in Nyack Barbershop <laughs> in Nyack, New York. Anytime. You need nice haircuts, hot towel shaves, please stop by. Always welcome. <laughs> Any talented barbers that are looking for a job, please welcome to join our group.
steps to protect ourselves during our daily activities. Wear a mask indoors or if you feel sick. Get vaccinated and boosted. Get tested if you have symptoms or were exposed. Get evaluated for treatment by a doctor if you have COVID-19. We can do this, New York. For more information, visit nyc.gov slash health slash coronavirus. It's late at night and the light is on in the governor's office. Kathy Holcomb has hard work and it shows. Since taking office, she's passed over 400 new bills. She's cracking down on illegal guns to make our neighborhoods safer. Investing in public schools to hire more teachers and get our kids back on track. And cutting taxes for middle-class families across New York. Kathy Hochul, a governor who works as hard as you do. We're in San Diego with the cast aboard the USS Midwest. It's just massive. Next ET. Tonight is 730 on CBS 2. Breaking news. We're streaming on CBS News New York. So 
I was born in London. from raising kids yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you can sort of see their growth. I can see her growth every week. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. her, her vocabulary is going through the roof now. But I saw the whole development of that. It was just amazing. Uh -huh. And uh, two, two years and uh, three years and four months. And, well, two years and five months. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah, she's talking full sentences. And it's really pretty cool. I've had a lot of people and they enjoy the friendship thing. More than your kids, because you're not working, you're not stressed out, mm -hmm. you know? I don't remember my kids developing. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I mean, I have a bad memory anyway. <laughs> but. And you're busy working, right? Well, yeah, and, and, but I have a bad memory. So I, you know, I, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a nut. I, I, I'm in my head too much. I don't pay attention. I'm not in the present enough. I'm working on that. But when I was, especially when I was working and had the kids, it was just a survival, you know? Okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you want an edge? Cool. I had to scratch the phone, yeah, I'd say. You're not going to cut my finger off, I think. Well, that's why I said yeah. that. You know, I'm like rats, you know. I don't spend enough time. I'm going to go here. Yeah. Yeah. When you realize yeah. all that, they think all they do. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm 70 now. And, and Jesus, I, you know, it's like, where did my life go? God, I'm like, it's over. Blink. But, not on wood, you know, with it, so you shoot them and bless them. So it's a big kind of a rebirth for me. Barbershop. What? What's up? Uh, a little bit, thank you. Uh, when do you want to come? No, that's, I know. Uh, let, let's do, how about, one o'clock, is good? I send them to the babysitting. Frank, I'll see you then, buddy. Bye-bye, bye. Pick them up and buy and do homework and go to bed tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Novo's daily COPD medicine has the power to treat COPD in as many ways as Trilogy. With three medicines in one inhaler, Trilogy helps people breathe. Can you handle aftershave? Aftershave? Uh, what is that? Okay, 
Yeah, no. Cool. No, I don't even use cool. I don't ever use it. You want to try it or not? Okay, put it on. Do you like it now, you know? Huh? They, don't, they don't get it now. Cool towel is coming up, right? But okay, cool towel coming up. No, no, no. It, no it, Youth is wasted on the young. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. They don't have that life risk anymore. Well, some of them do, but most do. I think, you know, I think if, if, if people, like, if you lose somebody who's very close to you early in your life, you have that, that kind of loss. It really, I think it wakes people up a little bit to the transits of life, right? But if you, I didn't lose anybody. My parents were healthy, you know. First person I lost in my life was my aunt, who I lived with in New York. I mean, didn't live with, but I used to visit her a lot. I was close to her. That was the first. So I didn't have to deal with that. I didn't, you know. I think, you know, if you, if you deal with that, then you become more mature. What a transition, huh? It's, it's, a, it's a change. But I grew up in a nuclear family, you know, there was no aunts or uncles, no cousins, no, you know, not, at least not living near us. I find that the older you get, the faster the years go by. That's right. It's crazy, right? Well, I think it's a function of aging, right? Yeah. I think it was good, man. Come on, man. Work it, man. I think it was good. You gotta be my walking advertiser, man. Walking advertiser. Yeah, for about for about two weeks. Then it's gonna be longer. Right? It goes pretty fast, right? People tell me my hair goes faster than theirs. I hope that don't mean I'm getting older quicker. Nah. This is how handsome you look when you turn your back on people, bro. Oh, look at that. Okay. Alright. Thank you. You want any products or no? Any what? Products like gel, mousse, anything. I, don't, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I got you. All natural. Um, let me tighten you up here. Let's see where I'm at. No, I'm tired. I play music. That's what I do for my there we go. Shan Cam, Tracy, hello, thank you. Adela, boy, a bunch of people here. I'm not going to be able to keep up with you all right now. Let me just straighten these things out. Show, show how much hair is on the floor. How much hair? Let me see. Wait a minute. Let me just, I'm going to turn the camera around. I think I am. Oh, cancel. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'm trying to turn the camera around. Here we go. That's it. Okay. Let me just see that. Okay, that's a bit. There's quite a bit of hair. That's right? Vlad. They're all saying hello. Okay. Let me turn the camera back around. Okay, I'm going to pay him. Uh, sit this thing here for now. I'll bring it with me. You think I, I got to walk home. With this, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep streaming. Um, we have 57 people here with us now, and uh, they're all talking. I can't sit here and respond to everybody. I just can't. Give me a pool. Okay. Give me a pool. How about we offer you this small box? Uh -huh. This box right here. Thank you. Uh, I'll, see, I'll see you in a year. <laughs> I hope so. It's not true. I, I see him throughout the year. I always wave as I walk by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. <laughs> okay. Um, I gotta get my computer back. So next time I say hello to the girls, all right? Yeah, I will. You wanna say goodbye here? I'll turn the camera. Bye, around. guys. There you go. Okay. 
Thank you. You got it, man. Anytime. Thank you, man. Anytime. We'll see you, boss. Take care. Okay. Don't get old too fast. I know. I'm 56. I hear you talking. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera back around. We're out on the street now. Um, I'm still not reading too much chat. Here's what we have on the street here. Right outside the barbershop. Let's see. Here we go. That's the river. It's a little rainy out. I could walk the long way home. I could go down to the river and show you the river and then walk up the hill all the way. I, I gotta see, I did get a, I'm walking. So, see who texted me. I'll go down here by the river and then I'll go around and walk up the hill to my house. I won't think I'll go around, but I'll go down to the bottom anyway. I'll try and read. Hey, Cleo, Judith, Adela, Peter, Lady Venom, Gal Pal, thank you. Now, Nyack used to be a thriving riverfront town. I think you might get, there we go. Nyack used, used to be a thriving riverfront community with much industry on the water. Um, we used to quarry up here and take brownstone down to the city. We don't do that anymore. Hey, Terry. But I'll just take you down and show you the Hudson River. Then I'll turn around and walk back up the hill. Michael Mack. Terry, thank you for coming. I was going to ask Terry to cut my hair when I was in Texas, but uh, I don't know if he'd have done such a good job. I, I have my doubts about him as his skills as a barber. Let me just say that. I see, I see what he does with his hair. Papa Jarl. We're going down to the river, yeah. I'm gonna go behind the condos. These condos, these didn't used to be here. This used to be a big lighthouse here and a marina with lots of water activity. Now, over here, this is the hazardous soil site where the marina had all of its fuel and other operations stored. It's been like this now for many years. They had to clean up the site. So they're doing that and I guess they'll develop it eventually. Um, you know, nonsense like that. Um, this used to be a wonderful place to come and hang out before they tore it all out, dug this huge hole, put up these ugly condos, which the piles are failing. These things, the, 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 the riverside is cracking, the walls drop. Now I think, where's the entrance to the, the, the... Here we go. Okay, some boats already moored. It's early in the season yet. They'll be filled up with boats soon. More ugly apartments on the waterfront fucking up the town. But either way, I think I can go right through this gate and walk out here. This is what my goal is. It is, I think, open to the public. Yes, it is. So down where I live, the Hudson River is three miles wide. These, I told you this used to be a big active marina and, and that hazardous waste site right behind us is, is behind that green fence. These are all the old piles. When I was a kid, this was a, a nice place to come and hang out. So Westchester, three miles across the river. Uh-oh, did I, I hope I, I'm touching this thing. Now out here, these guys could keep, in these condos could keep boats over on this side if they want but nobody seems to. When you, when you buy the condo, you get the, the boat slip. That's supposed to be a selling point of the condo. But even in the middle of summer, I really don't ever see more than about three or four boats here. And they have all these slips that just sit here empty. Um, because people buy the condo, they get the slip. They don't own a boat. They don't want a boat. They just want to live on the water. Um, Chapman Z Bridge, they just built this one a couple years ago. 
uh, New York City, we're not going to see it. It's way too cloudy. But on a clear day, and I can even see in the, some tall buildings. Now, let me get out on the end. I'll try and hold it still and show you. Here's the seagulls. Let's just see one. There he goes. He didn't go very far. Now, if you look just over the bridge, just on the near the right, maybe in the middle of the screen, you might see the shadows of some buildings from the city. I could see it with my bare eyes. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but they're down there. That's south. That's the bridge. That bridge is like 3.2 miles to span. And I hope I don't drop my iPad in the Hudson River. That's looking north. That's the Hook Mountain. You see a picture of me in my avatar. I'm standing on top of that mountain we're looking at. Um, I'm talking too much now and not reading the chat at all. So I'm gonna walk up the hill. We're gonna go straight up Main Street. Nyack from the, out on the water. Except these ugly fucking things in the way. Look at those fucking things. They've been there since the, I think the early 60s. Yeah, anyway, I don't even want to go into it. So, maybe I'll, well, I'll just walk. Oh, what else can I see? Other landmarks. No, I don't see other landmarks. I don't see this, I don't see the school tower anyway. I have trouble because I don't have a gimbal. I have to hold this thing. It takes both hands to do it. And so I walk around looking like a fucking idiot. But, you know, condos. Condos and the piles are sinking. They had to come out and reinforce the piles. The building started cracking. Part of the problem is the Hudson River is all mud. The bottom, you don't find bedrock for like a long way down. You gotta drive the piles like 140 feet in here to find bedrock. And so many pile driving companies just don't. They drive them for a while. They drive them till they feel good. And then they walk away, but they're not in bedrock and they will sink. So. We've got these fancy stairs that nobody seems to use. I think they wasted, they squandered their opportunity on the waterfront. I think they had an opportunity to do something good down here. Instead, they sold it to private developers. Big mistake. The town has the money, but they don't have the land anymore. They could have done something that was actually beneficial instead of this nonsense that don't work. Now, up we go. Here's that old house. They're shoring it up, trying to renovate it. The stone that this house is made out of, all these walls are solid stone. It came from that mountain I showed you up there, the mountain. You wanna see what it says? Let's see what it says. There we go. Anyway, they're trying to preserve the house. One of the oldest. Good luck, I hope they do it. The mountain I showed you when I was out there, the Hook Mountain, you can see it in the distance here, off the end of the road. A lot of the brownstone that was quarried was taken to the city. I did some research. A lot of this brownstone actually went to Brooklyn rather than Manhattan. I learned something. Chrissy, hello. Okay. I'm just gonna walk up Main Street. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to read all the chat. Am I sounding out of breath? You'll get a good view of Main Street. It's cloudy and a little rainy, but... More of the old waterfront. That was the, that was the frontage road, the one we just crossed. Everything below it was like waterfront back in the day.
Yeah, pal, I didn't drive down. I'm sorry. I did see your comment earlier. It's nice to drive, but... We're gonna be about a five minute walk, maybe seven. I'm gonna go back up past the barber shop I just came out of. This one. Uh, where is it? There it is, wrong building. Let's try this one. There's Vlad on his next customer. Yep. Okay. Try and hold it steady, but I won't be able to read the chat, okay? Morning. There's people going about their business here. This place we're gonna walk past used to be owned by The Edge. It was a nightclub called Vertigo. But it's not anymore, this place here. Some other nightclub now. This one. Interesting place because there's like levels and it's all open in the middle and the stage is on the bottom. Yeah, the edge from you too, you saw on that. Oh, they opened a new store here right across the street. Let me see if they're open. Maybe uh, it might be fun to look in. I haven't seen a store like this in Nyack for a long time. Let's go look at it. It's actually on the annex of the Mex Mexican restaurant where my daughter Luar had her sweet 16 party in the room that is now taken up by this new store they had a grand opening this one grand opening I don't think they're open yet nobody in Niagara opened before about 11 I don't know if you can see in there but those are trays on the wall you can buy these are hookahs, bongs, uh, cigar boxes, paraphernalia. There you go. It's the 70s since I saw a store like this in Nyack. Literally the 70s. So, I guess we're coming of age. I don't know. We'll keep walking up the street. In a few more minutes, I'll make a left. Then we're close. Over here, they're renovating this building. That thing burned down, right? It used to look like these other ones, like those. That's what it was over here, this whole block. The whole block burned down. They put up that stupid building. Another terrible waste, in my opinion. Look, you see these? That's, what, that's, that's kind of what it looked like over there. But fire happens, I don't know. I'm gonna cross the street again. I'm gonna cut through the parking lot, because that's what I do. Actually, I might not cut through the parking lot. I'm gonna walk by a certain place just to show you. There's Olive. That is a dive bar. I don't go there anymore, I used to go there. Um, she shut down during COVID for a year and a half. Tarantella's, not my favorite pizza place, but that's Tarantella's. Okay, I'm literally like three blocks now from the house. I hope you're not getting seasick. Hello, Judith, let me try and read. Cup of coffee. Yeah, we can get one over there at Avispa. You see Avispa? 
That's a Guatemalan deli. They're pretty good, in fact. Now, let's see. There we go. I'm a, I didn't stay at the corner. I came to the middle of the block. I'm going to jaywalk. Okay? Jaywalking now. Here we go. That's what I wanted to show you. This is the place we go now. Is over here. It's a very nice place. Um, nobody in there I don't know. Right? They have a smoking section out here. We could sit out here and smoke. We could... Uh, here we go. Oh, I can't do it, can I? There you go. How's that? Get a good look at the place. There's a few tables in the back. Um, that is where we go. The local. I've talked about it in chat, so I just figured I'd show y'all. Here's Mr. Kim's place. I'll buy uh, 25 ounce Budweiser's from this guy. All day long. Well, not all day long. But it's when I need, as needed. But I don't go other places. I go there. You know? We're heading south. More or less away from Main Street. So... Okay, Wing Yum, another place I come a lot. Hello? Right, Chinese. When, I, when they opened, they had seating over here. They, they closed that off for whatever reason. You can't even eat there. There's only like three tables in the front. It's really just a, a Chinese takeout now. It used to be a place you could sit down and eat. I think they had issues with vagrants and bums that's sitting in there, something like that. Here are the... I would call them projects. They're low-income housing. Uh, that's what's going on over here. Over there are the recently built, not low-income condos. Over there. And these are the low-income housing blocks, perhaps. There's more of them over there. You see them over there. Um, community garden. Not a bad place. This was the place on the corner. They shut. They're not open anymore. This place. Now open. Goes, nope, bullshit. But this is where I used to come to get cigarettes and a gallon of milk. Let's see if we can see in there. Nope, not much. Okay. Now we're headed west again, up the hill again. Gal pal, I don't have your comment in context, but I do see it. Uh, cars in my driveway, Dave. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. If I'd have driven, I'd have been home in literally a minute and a half, and this broadcast would have been over. Maybe that would have been better. Perhaps. I don't know. But I don't usually drive when I'm just going downtown. Because what the hell? That's why I live in town. You know what I mean? This is my neighborhood. In fact, my house is on the screen now. You can see it if you know which one it is. It's not those or that one. But it is that one. I'm gonna go up there and have a cigarette on the porch. Dave, that's where I park my car, okay? So, if y'all bear with me for about 30 seconds, I'm gonna let Gigi out of the house. I'm gonna sit down, have a cigarette, and try and read a little chat. Do I look like I'm sweating? Believe me, that's the fucking cologne that fucking guy put on me. 
Okay, Lady Angler, how you doing? Peter Summers, thank you for being here. No, I have not purged my foundation yet. No, Pete, you know I still need to do that. Joker's Lady, Michael Mack. You like the walk, thank you. Take off the hat. Okay, haircut. You know, see, I gotta wash it now because I've been walking, I'm hot and sweaty. It'll be a full year before I look like I did this morning. Absolutely. I can see the spots on my face now. That's not good. Okay, I gotta read, right? Thank you, Justine. Thank you, Lady Angler. England, how you doing? Thank you, Chrissy Swanson77. Thank you all for coming. It won't be long, I'll be done, because... Now I'm hypersensitive about my skin on the camera. I guess, I guess that'll take a day and it'll run off. That's razor burn. That's what that is. She'll know, she'll know who I am. Don't worry. Hey, Billboard. Ellen, thank you for coming. Billy, Dave. Dave, where's your buddy? I needed him today. Dude, that guy. What's his name? Barber Dave? Where the fuck is that guy? Um, thank you, Jokers Lady. I appreciate you saying so. Um, I didn't take much note of that when I was sitting in the chair. But I did see that there was several people talking because the text keeps rolling by. Uh, Queen Bee. Moisturizer for tuna, yes. So I'll keep shaving my face again until about Thanksgiving. After that, I'll stop. Um, and my hair is just going to grow from now until the day I cut it again in 12 months. I I'm getting more gray. Look, my roots are all coming in gray. Um, I reckon it won't be long before it's all gray. But that's okay with me. Nothing I could do. It's in Europe. It's enormous. Okay, B, I notice you do have much opinion. And I notice that you spend a lot of time comparing, which is fine. Um, I think it's, you know, a good policy is to move forward where you are, not compare yourself to others, because it, I think that slows down your own progress. But, you know, that's just me. Papa Jarl. So I'm, okay, I'm sorry, uh, Papa Jarl. I don't mean to be ignoring you. Um, not my plan to ignore anybody. <laughs> Need a new pick for my passport, probably. My driver's license pick is old. It's been on my driver's license literally 15 years. I, I don't look anything like this. I'll show you this. I don't even want to show you. I really don't. But I will. That's my driver's license pick. I was probably 18 years younger, maybe more. I don't even know. That pick is old. But they haven't updated it, and I've renewed my license several times, and they don't ask for a new picture. So. Different, Paul, yes. Am I missing Dave's jokes there, Joel? You have your eyebrows pierced. I haven't pierced my eyebrows. I probably never will. Um, I don't have a Prince Edward either. Um, I have my ears pierced. I have one over here, Justine. And I have about three of them over here. Um, they're just little earrings. Um, they're significant. They're gifts from people. Was a pair I've had since 1986. I've been wearing them. I don't ever change them. I have no good reason to. I take them out when I go for the MRI because I have to. But yeah, Queen Bee, it'll it'll be back next year. Um, I noticed my daughters all seem to have like their noses pierced these days. Um, I guess that's. What, a fun thing for a little girl to do? I don't know. I don't know why people do that, but... 
Dave, thank you. <laughs> um, Billboard, you're going to need another screenshot. You can take it if you want. I'm not worried, Billboard. Mother's Day, Lady Angler. Every May before Mother's Day, I cut my hair, and not any other time ever. So, that is just kind of coincidental, in fact, that Mother's Day happens to be in the same month I cut my hair. But one and three. Okay, Justine, sure. That's. I don't know why I didn't put two and two. And once again, I, I, I probably wasn't thinking too much about it at the time. I just said, okay. You know? As white as milk. Not for long. I have this razor burn. That guy just, just straight razored me. I'm going to have to put something on that. Not feeling the cold. It's in the 50s here. It's not a beautiful day, but it's not cold. It's overcast and a little drizzly. Thank you, Wayne. England, thank you for coming. Jonathan. Yep. You're going to get your hair, yearly haircut soon. Good, Jonathan. You could uh, live stream it if you want. It's not hard to live stream. There's a little in the top right-hand corner. Hit go live. Follow the prompts. You'll be live. It, it, you do got to do it 24 hours in advance of your first live stream because they want 24 hours to check on you. Thank you, Bev. Um, I, I hear that a lot, too. But it'll be, you know, it's going to grow back. You'll all see by uh, by uh, late summer when I started making videos. If you go back on my first videos I made, I think they were in, like, I don't know, August, maybe. Um, you see my hair is much shorter, but, but much longer than this. So, and, Bev, thank you. I appreciate that you say that, too about the hair being long. But you know, if I never, if I want to maintain it at that length, that requires trips to the barbershop. I could just let it grow and grow. It'll go to a point and stop growing because my, my split ends don't. Hair goes slow, okay, Justine. Mm -hmm. I haven't noticed any tongue piercings on my daughters yet. Um, I'm kind of hoping I don't ever see that, but I don't know. I suppose if, uh, uh, if that's what you want, I mean. Not a main, it, it's, Dave, it, it, it's a main road, but it's not Main Street. Main Street I was on before. This is the secondary road that people use when they don't want to drive on Main Street. So you saw all the houses on this road. Like 99 out of 100 cars that drive down this road are not going to one of these houses here. So, you know, it's, it's a main road in that respect. Oh, Gigi's here. I got it, let's see. She's over there eating her bone, sitting patiently at the top of the stairs. She's expecting me to walk her in a little while. I did walk her before I went down, so I'm not too worried. Um, I walk her three or four times a day. Or your tattoos. You never told your mother. Okay. Um, when I arrived in Duluth just the other day, and my daughter had said, well, you, you know, if you get there too early, I'll be at an appointment. Well, I didn't ask you what the appointment was. She's a 21-year-old. You go to an appointment. So when, when, I, when I did get there, I found that she had a, a brand new tattoo up here. That was her appointment. <laughs> She's got a lot of tattoos. My, my, uh, my daughter, Luar, does. No, B, probably not. She's not home. She's at work. She'll be... She won't be surprised when she gets home. She knows I got my hair cut today. Yes, and so do two of my daughters, two or three of them. Um, well, two of four. Their older sister doesn't live in Minnesota. I have four daughters. Uh, one is 28, one is 21, and two of them will be 15 in July. They'll be here this summer. Can you hear Gigi over there? Uh-oh, where'd she go? 
I'm getting a phone call. Looks like a garbage call to me. Let's see. Yeah, not one I need. Whatever that was. I have twins, yeah, they'll be 15 this July. Absolutely, my youngest. Okay, time to go inside. Put my cigarette out. Oh. Drop everything on the floor. Pick it up. Flip phone, city show. Mm. Mm. Some of you may know I've been doing lots of renovations um, on the house. This is a... Where am I? Right there. A scrap bin of wood I keep. And stuff I been may use again. Let me turn the camera around. Gigi, go in. There she goes. Turn some lights on in here. Put this back around. I think you're getting dizzy, right? You're getting dizzy like looking like that. I'm not getting ready to shut it down, but I'm just gonna get settled in and plugged in because I haven't been plugged in for a while. <clears throat> Alexa, play the Grateful Dead Serious channel. See if that works. Grateful Dead for Serious XM. They never stop rocking. I hope you can hear that. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna get about my business. I wanna thank you all for coming. I hope you bore it out of your mind. Of course, Bab J, my pleasure. Just me too, David Barber, Gal Pal, I'll talk to you. Um, anyone else who's here, I'm not, I don't know, I, I didn't pay attention for most of it. Thank you, Lady Angler, Chrissy, Donald. Thank you for coming, Donald. Michael Mack, try and stay out of trouble, please. Fortuna. Okay, everybody else who I didn't mention, Paul, City Show. Jarl, thank you for coming, Jarl. Dutchman, high five for the Dutchy Wolfie gal. Jonathan, Dave Barber, everybody else. I'll see you later. Um, I'll be back in chat, but not yet. I'll be a little while. I'll be somewhere in chat. Thank you. Uh, goodbye.